How are we doing, Saints fans? Welcome back to the Ugly Inside. And there's been a few rumours knocking around the internet this week that Graziano Pella could be leaving the Saints in the summer. What's your thoughts on this, Nick? Well, I mean, I think it's a very good rumour. I mean, Graziano Pella is giving Saints good service, but I think he'll be 31 in July, and I think that's a, a, a good age in the Premier. He's also expressed a, a, a desire to finish his career in his home country, Italy, where he's never really made his mark. Or, you know, his appearances for Italian clubs weren't really, you know, a great success. And he had to go to Holland to really find his, his form and his name. And, of course, in England with Saints. So I, I think it, it's not the wildest rumour I've heard. And, and the dilemma for Saints is very much where, as it was with Ricky Lambert a couple of years ago. You've got a 31-year-old player who is putting in £15 million transfer fee performances as such. But because of his age, the sell-on fee is nowhere near that and he's dropping fast. So I think the key areas here are that, firstly, uh, Pella does want to play at Italy while well, he's still got a little bit of his uh, age behind, uh, you know, on his side. But he's only got a year left on his contract, so Saints will be looking and saying, well, what, you know, what sort of contract can we give him? And, and thirdly, I think there's the fact that, you know, we've just got to look at maybe cashing in, as we did with Ricky Lambert. Ricky Lambert funded roughly half of the fee for Pella. And, you know, you've got to look and perhaps consider whether that's going to, going to be a process that needs to be repeated. Don't get me wrong, I am a massive fan of Pella. I think that a couple of his performances this season, uh, particularly against Chelsea away and one of the other home games this season, well, where we won quite well, we're all down to Pella. He is one of the best forwards we've had in recent years. But uh, this is modern football and sometimes clubs have to look beyond emotion. Oh, Clive, how would you feel if Pella left the Saints? Well, Nick, I think you're putting a bit of spin on that one. Sorry, Shane. Um, but if Pella can get 15 goals a season and we're only getting 5 million for him, 5 million buys nothing in this day and age. Well, I remember Clive playing cricket and, of course, you know, Clive wasn't even a 15-runner season man, let alone a game. So, you know, 15 is a, a very poignant number in Clive's career. It's what he'd look for a good striker to get and it's his runs total for his the season, if not his career. Like any football club, ideally you hang on to your best players and keep them and don't sell them. And, you know, I would be absolutely delighted if I picked up tomorrow's paper to see that Pella had signed a new two-year deal, for argument's sake. But the point I was making earlier is that you know the strategy of the club is based on getting players in at a good price, improving them to a level where that price is far, far more, knowing the player's worth, and when they get an offer in excess of that worth, moving a player on and then repeating the process onwards. And that, that unfortunately, and a lot of Saints fans won't like to hear it, is the way forward for the club because we can't compete with the Manchester United's, Chelsea's, Arsenal's etc in price and wages and we so we've got to adopt a strategy and use it but yeah I would love to see Pella stay if he goes I think the club have already got that replacement lined up and they're looking at them now and I think the the name I'm hearing I think is Sebastian Haller or for at Utrecht who is a young French striker much in the Pella mode who has scored a lot of goals on Utrecht at loan last season and scored a lot this season. Uh, but that's the name I've heard. But for me, Pella has been brilliant. As I say, he's, this season he's put in two of the best performances that I've seen in a Saints forward shirt in recent years. For me, an obvious replacement would be Charlie Austin, but he's been linked to three other Premier League clubs. I think his contract's up in the summer. Do you think he would be, he'd fit the mould at St Mary's? He'd fit the mould, but I think the problems with Char Charlie Austin, uh, allegedly, because obviously I've, I've no real insight onto this, but what I've heard on the, the rumour mill, which is obviously not the, uh, you know, the most exacting of sources, is that firstly Charlie Austin's knee is shot and that it would be hard for a club to spend money on him uh, as he wouldn't be insurable. Uh, and that's going to be a real issue, you know, because Charlie Austin, on the space of what goals he got last season, is again a 15, 20 million pound striker, yet no one came in for him at that money. And I think, you know, QPR have just been content to sort of run the money down rather than let him go at five million, which I think is, is about as much you can get. If Charlie Austin goes in the summer, I see him going to a club 
you know, you, uh, Newcastle, Sunderland, a club that need to to take a gamble and spend five million. But otherwise, I think his contract will run down. Now, guys, thanks for watching. If Pele was to leave, let us know how you would feel. And if Charlie Austin was going to come to the Saints, how would you feel about that? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you soon. How are we doing, Saints fans? Welcome back to the Ugly Inside video channel. I'm joined by Nick and Clive, and we're here to preview our third home game this week where we face West Brom in the Premier League.